Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my July favorites. Cannot believe that July is over. The summer's over. Fuck my life. This is great. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump right into the favorites because I am going to work soon. Um, and you know, I don't wanna be late today at least. So the first thing that I wanna talk about with you guys is the Konjac sponge. Now looking at it, it does not look like a sponge at all. I can't really squeeze it right now. It has to be wet to go back to its uh, sponge form. It's actually very interesting. When I was contacted by this company to try out this product, I was like, yes, I'll try it out because they had all kinds of different sponges. And this one was specifically to help combat oily skin, which if you guys have watched my videos for a while, you know that I suffer from. Um, you guys probably have never seen it in these videos because I will not share that but trust me the space gets oily so this is just the little bag that it comes in it says it's 100% natural vegetable fiber face sponge with bamboo charcoal for oily and spot prone skin so yeah this is just the little bag um, you have to wet this and what it does is it gently exfoliates your skin because sometimes I can be a little too abrasive with the face facial scrubs that I use so this is almost like your it's pretty perfect when it comes to exfoliating your skin because it's not too rough but it's not too soft it's just that perfect in between mix um, if you guys want to want me to film a video of me using this just to show you guys more about the product the actual product itself um, let me know in the comments below and I can surely do that for you it just says that it is silky soft when wet and it really is I was like how is this gonna take off any dead skin because it just it doesn't feel abrasive or rough or scrubby or anything like that but it did work because when I used it in the shower which you can keep it in your shower I think no you can't because you can't keep it um, I don't think it says to keep it in like a wet or um, moist area. I hate that word, but it fit perfectly in what I needed to say. It can hang wherever you want to hang it. I just let it um, dry. I think I kept it on my vanity and I just let it dry up. Um, it took about a week for it to get back to its original form. So like it's hard right now. <laughs> it says removes water-based makeup works with or without cleanser leaves skin radiant and rejuvenated suitable for sensitive skin deeply cleanses skin and the delicate eye area and um, they do not test on animals I believe that was one of their biggest points I could be wrong oh okay it says it right there um, it is vegan as well because I know all youtubers all YouTube watchers are vegan now it's 2016 the vegans were taken over Nothing wrong with that. I wish that I could be, but I just love meat too much. At first sight, it looks weird. It looks like a rock, but I'm telling you, this has changed the game for me with my exfoliating um, routine and things like that. I'm not using my face scrubs as much. I'm going towards this little guy. So I will link Conjac Sponge and all of their social media links below so that you guys can take a sneak peek. And they do have other ones other than this that's suitable for other skin types. Whatever your skin type is, you can find something that works for you. But next, I want to talk about these teeth whitening strips. Um, some of the comments that I get here on YouTube are about my dental care and how I keep my teeth looking white and bright and fresh and all that fun stuff. It is due to these. These are the Stella White um, teeth whitening strips. So it says that it is a new product. I'm not sure how long the Stella White strips have been on the market for, but I will find out and link it below. I'm going to link the company also. Um, and it just says it was originally produced for film actors and models. So these are like heavy duty. I'm not going to lie. I've been using them and literally I could see a difference within one use I was just like oh my gosh what like it was crazy I took it off and it was like day and night and I was like I love this so these are the Stella white love to smile teeth whitening strips just shows you that the upper strip is the larger strip in here and the lower strip is the um, smaller one in here I guess I'll just rip this one open and show you guys so they just look like this so the larger strip is for your top row and the bottom is the shorter strip right here. I do want to admit guys that these are very messy and gooey because I feel like compared to the crust whitening strips it has a lot more of the whitening formula or the whitening stuff on the strips. 
so I always, I don't know if you're supposed to or if this is like a no brainer, but I always brush my teeth after I use these just because the goo, like that gooey stuff is left on my teeth, but hey, it's whitening them, okay? So I can't complain. Next, I wanna talk about this new chapstick that I found. I know, I think like, I'm not sure if I've talked about chapsticks in each of my favorites. I think I have though. Um, I have lip injections and when you get your Gervaderm, Gervaderm, when you get Juvederm in your lips, sometimes your lips can just become dry and if you have lip injections, you might suffer from drier lips than you would normally. So I'm always using a chapstick and I found this one at Five Below. This is the Chapstick Moisturizer Hydration Lock. Um, it's an eight hour formula and it just says that it gives lips a fuller and smoother appearance. Now compared to any other chapstick that I've used, this one definitely stays on my lips for longer. Most chapsticks seem to like sink into my lips and then just disappear and they're like, I have to keep reapplying and it's like, okay, you guys just want me to keep applying so I can buy a new one because I'm out of my old one. The flavor or the scent is in vanilla cream and it's just a really light scent. It's not like overpowering or like a, a lipstick or a lip gloss would be. It's not going to like make you sick or stank or anything like that. But I just really love this. It doesn't give any color to your lips either. Next, I want to talk about three Morphe brushes. These have been my overall summer favorites brushes. So the first one I want to talk about is the Morphe M441 brush and it just looks like this looks a little dirty right now because it obviously has some of my eyeshadow on it and this is just it's effort effortless when I go to blend my eyeshadows into my crease sort of soften and diffuse that line up there it literally does the work for me all I have to do is do the back and forth motions and we're golden uh, I really really highly recommend this brush if you are looking for a great blending brush any of these brushes that I'm gonna be talking to you about but this one is amazing it's fluffier than the next one I'm gonna be talking about it's kind of the same as the next one I'm gonna be talking about but this one is fluffier and it's not as precise as the next one we're gonna be talking about but it just really gets in there it's fluffy it's not so densely the hairs aren't so like densely packed in there that it like doesn't go around you know you know what I mean so yeah, that's the M441 brush. The next one that I was telling you guys about that's very similar to that one, it's just a little more dense than that one is and more precise, is the Morphe M433 brush. And it literally looks exactly the same. It's just you can tell it's a lot um, smaller and denser. So it's more for like a precise crease, maybe a precise, more precise blending, um, diffusing of the crease line or you can use these underneath the eye as well I just I've never used this one for underneath my eye but these are great blending brushes and then last but not least from the Morphe brush favorites is the Morphe M139 brush oh my gosh you guys okay this brush literally does the work for you just like I said the other one did I don't know the magic or what but all you do is you take the product and just sweep it under your eye and you will literally have an effortless smoky eye like it's insane, it's crazy. So if you're a girl like me who has a hard time softening that line under your eye without it like getting all the way down here and looking crazy, looking like you have a black eye, then this is definitely the brush for you. And they're so soft too, and this brush isn't dense at all. That's probably the magic in it. And it's um, sculpted, not sculpted, that's what I'm looking for, like dome shaped sculpted. I guess it kind of is. Oh well, you know what I mean. So I'm really excited to be talking about this because I used it um, the first time last week and I was so excited. And Patrick Star, oh my God, I love you girl because you got me hooked on this. So I saw this foundation and this concealer in his video. I will link the video of his below. This is the EX1 Invisible, <laughs> try, try that again. This is the EX1 Invisiware Liquid Foundation. What shade is this? F300. There's only like four or five shades. Um, I kind of like based what my shade was going to be off of his skin tone because it's it was hard to kind of choose online without trying it on, but I did a good job. I have it on today. It literally is the lightest foundation, lightest medium to full coverage foundation that I've ever used. Uh, this is gonna go quickly and I'm very sad because this is I believe a UK brand or at least the shops in the UK 
and it took a long time to get here when I ordered, but it's okay. Ugh, the formula, I just can't even, I can't even, I can't even talk about because I'm going to cry. It's very good for oily skin types. It definitely keeps me matte throughout the day, and it doesn't look like I'm wearing a heavy foundation, if you can tell. But this is the concealer that goes with the foundation. I like my eye concealer to be a little bit brighter um, than my foundations are. You know, I like to highlight that under eye area. So I got the, what shade was this? The D100. Um, so this is, once again, the EX1 Delete Concealer. It is an anti-blemish and dark circle corrector. And it just looks like this. It's a little bit of a yellowy tone to it. This is for like warm skin tones, olive skin tones. This just, I'm wearing it today. Again, as you can see, I wish this would have been a little bit more high coverage because I can still kind of see some of my darkness peeking through, but I didn't build it up. I probably could have built it up today, but I'm just going to work. So I didn't really care. But this once again, feels like you're wearing nothing. And that when it comes to concealers and foundations, that is something that I love, especially in the summertime. This is a great product. So the EX1, uh, foundation and concealer. I'm going to link it below for you guys. Next, I want to talk about this Color Science Loose Mineral Sunscreen. Guys, okay, so this changed the game for me. I was given this product from the Skin Center. As you guys know, they have done my Botox and my lips. I am in love with this stuff, so I wish that I would have had this all summer, but we still we still got a month to go. So this is the Color Science Sun Forgettable Broad Spectrum SPF 30, water resistant for 80 minutes, loose mineral sunscreen. I am in the shade SPF 30 tan, and what it is, are you ready for this? Y'all ready for this? This is what it looks like. So when you get it, it comes like this, and you have to pull that down, and it literally is loose powder in here, but when you put it, when you apply it onto your face, it's gonna disperse the product. And it is sunscreen, guys. Like, you see how it comes out? It is sunscreen in a powder form. So let's say you're at the pool, you're at the beach, you have makeup on, you wanna touch up your sunscreen, this is it. Don't use the nasty, cakey, liquidy sunscreens. I don't use them anymore. They always would break out my face, even the ones from like Neutrogena or ones from like skincare lines. It would just always break out my face. So this does not do that for me. It helps me to look sun-kissed while also keeping me safe from the sun. And let's say like you're even looking oily, you can just whoop, 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 whoop. You know, put it on, apply it, and it's going to take care of those oily spots. And, like, you can bathe in this. <laughs> you can go swimming in this. You can go in the ocean with this. It is water-resistant powder that has sunscreen in it. Tell me why you wouldn't buy this. I'm going to link this below for you guys because I know that you are going to be interested. This is for you if you're trying to protect your skin from the sun's UV rays. It's not just aimed towards like summer, you know, that has nothing to do with summer. I know that there are some people who like to wear sunscreen all year round, in the winter, in the fall, just whenever the sun hits your face, you're, you're damaging your skin. So this is good for all year round. My next favorite, and I'm still surprised by this, is the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. Um, this is in the shade Caramel Toffee. There is a hair on it. I love Wet n Wild just because they are affordable and they don't test on animals. And as you can see, Mama has hit pan on the contour side. Now, I'm not a fan of the banana powder just because it's not a loose powder. It's a pressed powder, so when you apply it to your face, it's real, like it really shows up. It's not something you can just brush off easily. I learned my lesson from that. So I'm not a huge fan of the banana side, um, but the contour side is beautiful. I'm wearing it right now on my, um, wearing it right now on my cheeks. And yeah, I just love it. It doesn't break me out or anything, and it just looks natural. I'm really a fan of the red undertoned contouring powders. I just feel like it looks more natural than like the grayer cool tones do. Um, I try to get into the cooler toned contour powders um, to make it look like a real shadow, but I just, I don't like how that looks. So I like going with the ready, ready undertoned ones. So this was like four bucks. Yes, you heard me correctly. My favorite primer of the month has been the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This stuff is life-changing 
you guys especially if you have oily skin like me or you're just trying to mattify your face before your makeup application this is for you it has that velvety texture that just goes onto the skin glides onto the skin this keeps me matte all throughout the day or all throughout the night if I'm going out for a night and just don't want to look like a greaser so this is perfect for that and my next favorite is the LA girl pro conceal HD high definition concealer and this is the yellow concealer I I'm obsessed with this underneath my eye. When I first bought this, I didn't think I was gonna be able to really use it as a concealer underneath my eye because it is yellow, but the pigments aren't too strong that it looks like I have yellow concealer on. Um, I just think it's beautiful. It brightens up under the eye. I think that this is a really good dupe for, where is it? Yeah, I, as you guys know, I don't really order from MAC anymore. This is old. I just don't agree with their animal testing policy. They're one of the worst brands out there for that. But I believe that the LA Girl Pro Conceal um, HD High Definition in Yellow is an exact dupe for the MAC Prep and Prime in Bright Forecast. It does the exact same thing. This doesn't make my skin oily. It's not patchy. It's not, um, I'm able to blend really easily with this and I've just been using it every day. My favorite freaking lip gloss and I have it on right now and I know you guys already know what it is. What is it? This is the Kylie Gloss. This is the Posey Gloss. This is the new one. She just launched it, I think, like last week. So this gloss is beautiful. The only thing I don't like is the wand applicator. I would have liked the doe foot applicator, but whatever. I can't pick and choose. I ain't Kylie Jenner. Why not? Why wasn't I born a Jenner a Kardashian? This is what it looks like. It's beautiful. What I really love is that it's not sticky on your lips. And um, I think a lot of people think that because it's the Kylie Jenner gloss that it's going to stay on all day. It's not going to. If you're eating or drinking, it's going to rub off. It's a gloss. It's not a liquid lip stain or a matte liquid lip, but it is gorgeous on the lips. Just helps to give, what is that? What is that? This helps to give a subtle plumpness to the lips. And it's just, it's a highly pigmented gloss, as you can see, that almost looks like a lipstick or a lip stain. So this is amazing. I'm wearing this at the moment right now, and I have Posey K underneath and the Posey K lip liner, and this is the Posey K gloss. Bam! The Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Re Resident, <laughs> Modern Renaissance Palette. Oh my God. Yes, bitch. Yes, queen. Yes, honey. Yes, lord. This palette speaks to my soul on so many levels. Like, are you guys seeing the beauty of this? Are we seeing this? And the bitch is cruelty free. Yes. I'm never using anything else. I could just buy these for the rest of my life because I don't use any other shades or colors. So these colors, guys, are fuck freaking beautiful. They're so pigmented and they're so easy to blend. So basically it does the work for you, just like the brushes that I was talking about. Literally, these are just amazing and I can't, I can't, I can't. And last but not least, I'm sure you guys know what it is. It's another palette. Can you guess which one? It is the... Jaclyn Hill from Becca Cosmetics. What is this called? I always frick it up. The Champagne Collection Face Palette. <sighs> I've been using every single color. So even on my face right now, I've used the Amaretto Contour. Can you see that? It's messing up. I have the Pamplemousse Blush on my cheeks, as well as the Rose Spritz Highlighter Blush. Mm-hmm. And then I also have the Champagne Pop and my Inner Tear Ducts. Drop the mic. My favorite shade from this palette is the Rose Spritz. So it is a highlighter, but it's more of like a blush highlighter. So I'm going to swatch that for you. This is the perfect highlighter. I hate how highlighters always mute out my blush. Like it'll pack on top of my blush and then it just, my blush is gone. This literally adds to your blush and it is beautiful. Like, come on. Okay, are we seeing that? Like, holy shit. I just can't. I want to do a full face highlighter challenge and just put that all on. 
put that all on my face. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed my favorites video. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and stay Bella. Mwah. Bye, guys.